Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about hair conditioners. So previously my two favorite conditioners were Aveeno and Dove. I loved all of Dove products. They're really like slick and moisturizing and I really like that. Um, but this one's made by Unilever. Aveeno is made by Johnson & Johnson. And both of those I'm pretty sure don't have the greatest track record for animal testing. For the past couple weeks I've been trying out a couple different conditioners so I could give you a review on what I liked best and find something that works for me to replace those other two brands and I'm not uh, feeling like I'm missing anything, you know? So with my crazy curly mixed race hair, one of the issues I have is dryness. The other one is that I need a conditioner that allows me to comb it out in the shower and helps with detangling. Like I mentioned, one of the things I like about Dove is that it's really kind of slick. I don't want to say greasy, but definitely slick in the hair. And it helps a comb, um, like a wide tooth comb, just run right through it and like slick some of those knots out. So the four brands I tried were Live Clean, Nature's Gate, Elba Botanica, and Giovanni. Don't mind that Giovanni comes in this itty bitty. They had travel sizes, which is what I bought. It does come in a full size, but I thought since I was just testing, I'd start with the travel size until I knew if this was a brand that I really liked. So we'll start with Elbow Botanica. This one's actually still a little wet because it was in my shower this morning. Uh, I use Elbow Botanica already for facial stuff. Uh, their moisturizer, their face wash, I have a face scrub by them, and I love all of those things. This is great. It says right on the back, no animal testing. Uh, there's also no parabens or phthalates in them, sodium laurel. So it really tries to be great about the no damaging sulfates or drying formaldehydes in the formula so to keep your hair really nice and healthy and be a little more environmentally friendly. I bought the coconut milk for all the products I tried. I tried to buy the like moisturizing or extra moisture formula. This does smell like coconut, but it also smells a little bit like pineapple, which I find all their products smell like pineapple, which I love. Like who doesn't want to smell like a pineapple? But with the coconut and pineapple together, it smells kind of like uh, a pina colada. So if you're into that, you'll love this. This is probably hands down my favorite. The smell was amazing. It was really thick and creamy on the hair. It stayed in nicely and let me like comb it out with that slickness that I found was really great. Washed clean, um, didn't see any remarkable changes in my hair. It's as nice as it ever was. So I really like this one. The only downside to Elba Botanica is that it is slightly on the pricier side uh, compared to some other drugstore products. You might also have trouble finding it in certain places, but I just picked mine up at Save On Foods, which is a pretty giant national grocery chain, so I didn't find it that hard to find, but depending on where you live, it might be a little tougher to find. The next one I want to review is the Nature's Gate, and this is in the henna and avocado scent. This one is shine enhancing. What I really liked about this one is that it said vegan and non-GMO right on the front. I don't really care about GMO, but I do care about the vegan, so that's really cool. And they also have their cruelty-free label right here, as well as it says uh, Water Aid, which is safe water and sanitization for the world's poorest people, and it's certified gluten-free. So if that's a concern for you, you might want to look into this one. This is actually recommended to me by another vegan YouTuber, The Veggiest, so I'll link her down below. However, I think we have very different hair types. Um, she's part Asian, I'm part black, those are basically I would say like opposite hair types in terms of texture like mine is very curly Asian people usually have quite straight hair so that being said I did not like this conditioner at all um, I found it actually made my hair kind of grabby when it was wet so instead of being slick and the comb like combing right through it I found the texture with this in was just not conducive to combing it out in the shower it actually seemed to make the knots harder to get out the smell is really great on this though, so I'll give it that. It smells delicious, kind of kind of fruity and florally. I don't know exactly what the scent is. It's not avocado. It's more floral than avocado, but it's a really great scent. The other thing I didn't like about this was I think the plastic is quite thick and they've made it so the cap is on top. And I know that seems like how you'd expect things to be made, but actually a lot of conditioners are made with the cap on the bottom because the project is so thick that it's hard to shake it out. And this plastic is really thick and I found it hard to squeeze. Like I'm like trying to use both hands to get this out. I did not like how hard I had to shake this out 
to try to get the product out of it. It was too much work for me. The only other pro I'll give to this is that it is really affordable. Uh, I think this was on sale at like a shopper's drug mart when I was there for less than $5, which is pretty great for um, 532 milliliters. Like this is a big bottle to be that inexpensive. So there's that. All I can give this one is smells really good, free of a lot of toxins, good for people who are celiac. The next one I want to review is this Giovanni. It is for damaged hair, smooth as silk, deep moisture conditioner. And when I read that, I was like, that is me, that is what I need, smooth as silk, deeper moisture, please, yes. But, oh, I was so disappointed. It didn't really feel like anything in my hair. It wasn't slick. Um, I found I had to use a lot of product. It doesn't smell bad but it doesn't really smell like anything, which could be really great if you don't like strong scents. I will say that. Um, it's great that it's, you know, certified organic, 100% vegetarian, no animal testing. It's got the leaping bunny on it. I don't know if that focused. So there's a lot of good things about it, but I just found for me, it didn't do anything in terms of making it feel like there was a lot of moisture to my hair and it really did not help with combing it out. So, eh. So one that I was really pleasantly surprised with was the Live Clean. Um, I found this worked really well in my hair, made it really slick for combing out, washed out nice and clean. Um, I can't remember what it smells like. Not a very strong scent. This is the hydrating conditioner. Um, I don't think it's really meant to be scented like anything, so it smells good, nothing crazy. Uh, it is plant-derived, certified organic, silicone-free, paraben-free, pure vegan, never tested on animals, the package is recyclable, that's all awesome. It's also proudly Canadian, so the only downside is that if you're not in Canada, you might have a harder time getting your hands on this, but I will put a link below, maybe you'll be able to grab it on Amazon. Um, but yeah, it was definitely really nice to comb through, made my hair nice and slick for detangling, washed up nice and clean, smells like nothing fancy but like pleasant. And this was also super affordable and I picked it up at Superstore and I think I also saw it at Walmart. I could be wrong, but it was definitely at Superstore which is just a big grocery chain so that's pretty easy to find, at least here in Canada. Um, so this was definitely probably my top marks because it performed just as well as the Elba but was like half the price. So I'm always down for keeping a couple extra bucks in my pocket. So that is my cruelty free conditioner review. Let me know what you guys think. Are there other brands I should be trying? If you have hair similar to my texture, please leave me some suggestions below in the comments. I would love to know what you guys think. I also noticed while I was out shopping for conditioners that there's about a million different things to try, so I'm gonna work my way through these four uh, and use up the product because I don't want my bathroom full of like too much goo. But once I use up these, I'm gonna try other ones and I'll review those for you guys as well. Thanks for watching so much. Make sure if you found this video helpful or useful, you subscribe to my channel and give the video a like. It really helps my channel out. Thanks so much, guys. Have a great day. Bye.